Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you a little routine that I use when I need to perhaps run a loop which creates multiple data sets and eventually collapse these data sets or bind them into one data set. Um, so to set this up, I'll actually create what's uh, uh, an empty list so let's say I'll, I'll call my my empty list a and I'll use this function vector and I'll create a list with length just you don't even have to be uh, particular about the length because um, as long as it's created the uh, any loop that I run now that creates, uh, let's say, a data frame, let's say for I n one, two, let's say, I'll take, just keep it simple. I'm gonna create um, maybe just two normal random variables, create a feature, a variable called x and a variable called y. y will be uh, just to uniform random variables. Okay, before I move on, what I'm gonna do is assign this data frame to element i of list a. And let's see, let's make sure I've opened and closed the correct number of parentheses and assigned here. Okay, x r norm two, y r new do, blah blah close data frame, close. I think I got one too many. Okay, and we're gonna close this loop and run this and let's take a look at A now. So A is now a list with three elements in it. Each of these elements is a data frame. In fact, we can look at the structure of A and we'll see there's a, it's a list of three. It started out as a list of one, an empty list of one. Uh, each of these three are data frames. Each of them uh, pretty much a data frame with the variable x and y. Now I can collapse these onto each other by using an R bind or something. I'll do an A1, an A2. Of course, I could have included this in a more complex loop routine, but here my point was only to give you the basic idea that can you can take off with yourself. So I'm going to bind these rows, and now I got myself a data frame. Um, of course, that loop uh, wasn't necessary. I could have just ran uh, six uh, random un normals and random uniform variates uh, instead of going through that whole process. But if there is something in the loop that you want to get fancy with, perhaps that changes with each turn of the loop, um, then you might need to run a loop uh, and eventually want to collapse these rows into each other. You can perform this. Like for example, I could have just uh, maybe let that float with i too. And a would have been length one, two, three, because it was determined by i. And now I can bind these. Okay? Um, yeah, length six. So uh, that's one plus two plus three. So we got the same length, but we ran it a little bit different. Okay? The point here was this vector list and you just specify length one you should be fine and from here you can create kind of anything you want and then collapse it into uh, uh, or or make it part of a list perhaps you want to run a loop or or some other uh, uh, reason why you would need an empty list to start with Okay, so I hope this was helpful. Uh, till next time, subscribe, like, share, and check out the other videos I have on R Data Analytics Excel on Gelator Academy. Have a great day.